Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel's Good Talk Radio and Arizona Talk Radio special presentation on love and relationships. For our continuation part three for love and relationships, okay. uh, I want to throw a question in. Is uh, And we kind of almost touched on it with Lisa's last, mm -hmm. I think it was Lisa's quote, is uh, roles. Yeah. Like, has that changed? Like, you know, the leave it the beaver kind of family mm -hmm. was, honey, I'm home, and the, the wife stayed home and cooked and took care of the kids, and she did the cleaning, the vacuuming, and the yeah. guy work. And then, uh, uh, and I say that jokingly because I'm Sherry's bitch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and I, I love it because um, I'm retired. She's working. For yeah. God's sakes, now that I'm home more, except for all these radio shows, <laughs> I've got some re new responsibilities that I need to pick up yeah. on of helping take care of the household. I'm home. Yeah. yeah. And uh, is that uh, is that tradition still there? Was why do we expect women to do the dishes or, or vacuum or make her bed or do our laundry? Yeah. Um, and if you're both working. Why do we expect one role to do certain things and another do another? So compared to, well, me and Helen can probably relate more to the traditional family that we kind of grew up with um, to now the new modern age of, of the double working family sure. where both a husband and wife or boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, non-fiance, whatever, are, are working too. Who does what? I'll start. Yeah, yeah. I'll start with that. I it's funny. Um, I feel I don't know. I'm gonna get a lot of feedback on this one. I I think Danny and I are a team, and we do things together. We we do cook um, together. You know, we'll go to the store, pick out the ingredients, and we'll cook together. Um, I tend to get up early in the morning and start my day because I want to make the bed. I want to start laundry. I want to do the cooking because he does work and he is his own boss and yeah. he owns his business. So I feel that um, by me doing a lot of that type of stuff is helping bring out his focus, his best ability so he doesn't have to worry about certain things. Yeah. Um, you know, d does he make me breakfast on a Sunday? Absolutely. Does he do dishes? Does he empty the dishwasher? Yes. Will he do laundry? Yes. But I kind of take Refresh control it. over it. I did, I did. If that makes sense. No. Explain. Yeah. Go, go a little further. I, <laughs> I, I don't give him an opportunity to get to it before I do. Like, okay. he'll do things, but I, I, I tend to... I'm, I'm one step ahead of him okay. because I feel like it's, it's, it's teamwork mm -hmm. and we share it, but I want him to be able to concentrate more on work okay. rather than all of the other things that need to be done. Like I'm helping and I'm assisting him with his business, yeah. but at the same time, I want to make sure the laundry is done so he doesn't have to worry about that. I think you that's know, awesome. It's, it, it might just be a control thing. <laughs> I think that's very sweet. I, I think that's very nice. You I, know, I, I feel like laundry. Yeah, because you know it's it's teamwork, mm -hmm. but yet, you know, and I guess where I slack, he'll pick up the slack. Yeah. You know, and, and vice versa. But I tr I try to do a little bit more so he doesn't have to worry about it. That's awesome, actually. <laughs> That's, I mean, I think, I don't know, I got my opinion, yeah. but it's. Go ahead. You, we want to hear it. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, come here. Okay. I, Who's next? I'll go. I mean, okay. I'm sure there is a role reversal for sure. I mean, some women are the head of the household now, and a lot of women are, actually. Well, a lot of women are guys. Yeah, it's like they transition. Like, guys yeah. are sensitive, you know, women are taking over. And, uh, and if that's the case, you need to know your role, and the dude needs to start taking out, doing the doing whatever. But for me, I like how you know both people are pitching in. If I see dishes and you're a man, go clean them up. Don't sit there and let them pile up. Everybody's busy. You know what I mean? Handle business. Yeah. Make sure you do your job. I, I don't. I hate when they said, "Oh, you know, you expect somebody to do something." But I don't like. I think. It should be an equal thing, you know. Both people are working hard, but I think it is situational, you know, Lisa. Just, you know, like you were saying, like you're doing that to help him out 
to make his day and his life easier. And I love that. I think that's really, really awesome. And I would do the same if the roles were, you know, switched. And uh, yeah, you know what I mean? You're just making the house run smoother. And it's just, you know, it's just you're causing no issues in terms of you know things piling up please get into i just think that's awesome so yeah um, you know, it's like, actually for uh for me it's actually i had to be a learned habit yeah oh yeah i came kind of the traditional family of, of, of a family of four living the beaver kind of thing my yeah. mom stayed home um so i've actually evolved yeah <laughs> <laughs> I had to evolve. Yeah. Um, and, and of course, uh, what also kind of changed things was we were both working where, you know, our parents before us may not have had to have both parents work. Yeah. Um, so, but I was still terrible. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I, I actually, you know, maybe last five to 10 years, I've evolved where I was like, you know, I need to step up, do a little more of the cooking, all that yeah. stuff. And now that I got to retire and Sherry's still working yeah. and kind of stuff, it's like, okay, now I've got to really start changing yeah. my ways. And I've still got a ways to go. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I know how to do it. Yeah. And and remember, I lost my mother when I was young. So mm -hmm. me and my father had to learn stuff. Yeah, pick up the <laughs> So I know stuff. how to do yeah. that. <laughs> I know how to do laundry. I know how, but still Sherry kind of does the laundry. But if we really had to, I, it's not a problem. I could get in there and do it. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, there's certain things that she just kind of does better. Because she does them better. Yeah, exactly. You know, but um, I know that. Hey, if she doesn't feel like doing them, yeah. it's like she has every right to say, "Rob, you do the laundry." Yeah. It's like, okay, you're that's fair. Yeah. Um, and uh, now that I cook, yeah, um, I do almost all the cooking, except yeah. you know, like a weekend or something, she'll yeah. do something. But um, I always have dinner. Try to have dinner ready for her when yeah. she gets home from work, which is yeah. really weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but in return, she um, she's happy to do the dishes, so I'm a happy camper. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah. There you go. Uh, but and there's lots of roles here that she'd expect me to do because the things I used to always do. Yeah. Whether it's go fix something or whatever, or something's broken, it's like uh, yeah. you need to fix that, Rob. Yeah. But when you were working, Rob, was she doing the dishes? I mean, what, yeah, yeah. She was doing too much. Okay. All right. It wasn't fair. Okay. I, I I'd be the first one to admit that. All right. All right. And uh, I needed to I needed to change. That, and that's the yeah that's the hardest yeah. thing yeah. I think law of attraction, right? Getting there. Yeah. <laughs> See, and I, I, I am also one for not doing the traditional girl women things. Like yeah. I have put a whole barbecue together. Yeah. You know, I will paint. Wow. I've cleaned gutters. I have stained fences. Like I get my hands dirty. Yeah. Well, sure and does I think too. that yeah. there's a lot of women out there that they're like. I'm not doing that. I got that. I'm not yeah. touching that. Totally. And I, I, I even I have Sherry work in my boat because she can reach things that I can in the engine room. Yeah. yeah I mean, she's awesome. <laughs> Rob. Go ahead. It's important that, you know, you, a, a woman can, you know, not that she has to, but yeah, yeah. a woman can get her hands dirty. I mean, I put together a six burner grill and I loved it. It was yeah. a challenge. And, you know, it, it, and now you're you showing people. How to how to use it because you know how to you how it went together you know what I mean you're yeah. like no let me show yeah. you <laughs> that's yeah. true what do you think Absolutely. Helen I, I know something's turning <laughs> Helen, there yeah Helen's been quiet yeah, she's on like, Helen. Dun, dun, she's dun, like dun. Lisa don't d put put the paintbrush down yeah <laughs> don't go don't go clean gutters right you know right? You're, too, you're too pretty to clean the gutters yes. Lisa <laughs> well you don't need me because that's exactly what I was thinking anyway um, that's true. Uh, yeah. about roles then and now because I was listening to everything you guys were saying and when I was a kid uh, um, I lost my dad at 21 many many years ago so uh, my mother cooked dinner every night and she was the perfect housewife she cleaned the house she she cooked dinner she went grocery shopping she did all what was expected of her at the time as a married woman to do those traditional things and my father uh, did the traditional things that he was expected to do took care of the outside of the house brought down the garbage um, you know when there was garbage night and that sort of thing took care of the cars and everything and then when he passed away uh, everything got turned upside down mm -hmm. um, my mother still made dinner because I was away at college but then I um, uh, took off for a year to come home and be with my mom and she still cooked and did all that kind of stuff 
but I will think um, roles today have changed so much where women have become better educated and make can make almost as much money as men and they don't feel like they really need to be married and they can do their own thing and a question would be is what happens to the kids in this because when I was growing up it was mom dad household that you know happy yikes my phone's gonna ring four times and it's over there that's all right okay that's two we're used to it <laughs> but um, what happens what happened is, okay, I'm losing my train of thought, telephone, go away. Uh, what would happen is, um, okay, it's gone. Damn. Oh Just boy. give me a second. You're good. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, what was I saying, Lisa, because the phone took it away? Household. You, you, when Household. you were talking about the phone and you distracted me. I distracted me, stupid phone. I usually have too. it right here to shut it off. Squirrel. Okay. Your dad right. passed away, um, and she switched. now was taking yeah. over okay. the role she, of mom and dad. Well, well, yeah, she took over the role of mom and dad. I was the one that started taking down the garbage, you know, taking the car, not fixing the cars, but yeah. taking the cars to the garage and that kind of stuff. And as um, time went by, I think in general in the States, is women became more educated and really didn't feel like uh, they had to... Um, do the cooking or do the laundry because they were going out to work too because they're more educated making more money and roles got changed and kids now uh, a whole generation of latchkey kids yeah. came into being mm, where they yeah. um they would come home after school and maybe they would do the prep work for the dinner or they went to the grocery store or they were bringing down the garbage and stuff like that so Roles um, in this day and age, I think, have changed so much, and I don't think they're ever going to go back to the um, traditional mom and dad household unless unless uh, somebody is making a great deal of money where somebody can be a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home dad. Yeah. What right. do you guys think of that? Whoever's sitting Thank at home you. is the one doing the work. That's what I think, you know. I mean, man or woman. So... I don't know. How do you feel about when, <laughs> and you hear about it often. Uh, I actually, there was a, uh, when I was in New York, I was listening to a radio station and this subject came up where the mom, the wife was home. She was taking care of the young babies and, you know, she's not doing anything all day long. The, the laundry's piled up. There's no dinner cooked. The husband comes home. He's like, y what did you do all day? Uh. How do you feel about that? When you've worked all day, you're Counselor. bringing home the money. <laughs> Counselor. I Counselor. That's a sign of depression. That's what you I was going to say. Want, you want dinner on the table, but you don't want to be jerky about it. You, you, yeah. you, you just like, you know, you had, yeah. ten, I was gone for 10 hours. Like, what, 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 what did you do? Yeah. And oh, they're man. like, I, I took care of the kids all day, but they didn't do anything else. So taking care of kids is a lot of work, especially depending on the age of the child or yeah. children. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but they've done nothing. No, yeah. no nothing. And I, I've and had days like on that Facebook. here. Yeah. So I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I put it on myself. It's well, like it's like I could you, be you stuck raised, doing radio you know, shows or something. Kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did you manage to do it? Because I, I was like, very angry. <laughs> <laughs> Anger is a great motivator. I was so tired, Helen. Yeah. Helen, let me tell you, I <laughs> I can't. You know, I had three. Yeah. My oldest one. There's a nine year difference between the first and the second. Okay. But yeah. the second, third, and fourth one, they're th they're a year apart from each other. So I was very tired, and I was working full time, going into work at three in the morning and coming home at four, four thirty in the afternoon, five days a week. I was very, very tired. So for me because my hours were crazy you know my husband at the time he was working two and three jobs you know we, he and I may not be together but I, I will say this he provided and he was a hard worker and he worked you know at one point he was working three jobs then he went down to two jobs and then eventually he went down to one job but during the young years when my kids were in diapers a lot had to fall to the wayside because you have to pick and choose. You have to prioritize. Okay, what's important? You know, if there's yeah. 20 toys on the floor, that's they're going to stay on the floor. But you know, dinner needed to be done, and yeah. I, there was a period of time my babies were babies. I was making baby food. 
Yeah. In the middle of all of this, I was making my own baby food. You know what? My husband and I were eating. My children were eating pureed, um, and then just working and taking care of kids and changing diapers. So there's a lot yeah. that will not get done in that house. Yeah. Um, so it's about picking and choosing. But you do hear of the stories where the the mom's not working, or if it's the dad staying home, they're not working and they're not doing anything. Yeah. You know, there's going to be resentment, and that relationship sure. is going to have a lot of tension, and yeah. there's they're going to have issues. You know. Well, I I read this either in the Huffington Post or Entrepreneur Magazine, where it said uh, there are five. Um, uh, facets of your life and pick three and then pick one that you're going to be great at. There was wife, mother, fitness, home, and uh, wife, mother, fitness, home, and profession. And then pick three priorities and then the pick one that you're good at because the article said basically you can't have it all. You can't do it yeah. all. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I don't know how you, how you did it. I my hat is off to you. I think I would have been in a a fetal position. <laughs> I was frankly. probably very difficult to deal with at one point. I mean, I was I was so tired. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I worked for a hospital, so I, I may not have been saving people's lives cause, because I was a, a secretary in the emergency room. But it took a lot out of you. Yeah. And you go home to these three little babies that you brought into the world that didn't, mm -hmm. you know, that, that just want your attention. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to pick and choose. My baby wants me to read to him. Yeah. Or am I going to do those dishes? Yeah. Chances are I'm going to read to my baby and yeah. not do those dishes right there and then. And those yeah. dishes may not be done until the next day. Yeah. It can so wait. there were a lot mm -hmm. of times. And, and I, it was hard for me to leave dishes in the sink. Yeah. I don't, it's annoying. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't my, like to do my that. Wife can't my stand kids it. are old. And, you know, I, they're, you know, two of them are out of the house. But I don't like to leave. If Danny and I leave dishes in the sink, I, that it drives me crazy now. Oh, yeah. Um, Okay. You know, but, uh, you know, well, you, ha Rob, okay, go ahead. Hon. You just have well, to Rob, pick and choose. Yeah. Robin, Robin, Derek, how do you guys feel about this? Oh my, I mean, go ahead, Rob. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I can, <laughs> like I said, I'm, we still talking about roles pretty much. Well, yeah. Roles yeah. being reversed uh, yeah. uh, yesterday as opposed to, um, today yeah because they're certainly very well, kinda, different i was actually kind of well it's not fortunate but um my um uh, i lost my mother when i was 14 and my sister is 10 years older than me so could you imagine my father very traditional wow. losing her okay. his wife and i'm age 14 becoming a teenager and it was kind of funny at first i mean if you just the event was not funny, but afterwards it's like, okay, we got these two guys. <laughs> it's like my poor dad had to learn how to cook all of a sudden, and we started with yeah. the TV dinners for a while, and pretty soon my dad's like, I got to learn how to make a casserole or something, and pretty soon I'm learning how to cook, so I was kind of fortunate to be slapped upside the head with, okay, laundry's not going to get done unless I actually do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> and dinner, I guess I'm going to have to help my dad out a little bit and start yeah. learning how to cook a little. And if my dad had a meeting or something like that and couldn't get home in time, I had to feed myself. And so I was fortunate to, um, and, and my father and I had to do our own shopping and things like that. And, uh, and then holidays came along. We had to do like, we can't keep going to the turkey house. We uh, got yeah. to <laughs> you gotta switch it up. <laughs> so yeah. we're kind of fortunate to, uh, uh, to grow on that yeah. uh, a little bit. So what did you just show me? Oh, no, I'll just oh. type something and then. Um, so, uh, but I do want to bring up uh, something that Zach just brought up on uh -oh. one of his comments. I was uh -oh. reading it. That's why I was a little sidetracked. Yeah, yeah. What comes first? And I'm going to list the two that these are my priorities, but okay. I mean, I'll be, mine would be God. Okay. Family, work, and career. Okay. That's not true for everybody. No. Mm -hmm. So, uh, does anybody want to build on to that? Mine would be my faith. Mm -hmm. then my family, then my work and career, which is really hard to do sometimes. But yeah, I guess the one thing I'd want to say is if we had to answer to someone, yeah, whether whether of your faith is, 
if you believe you're answering to someone, do you think at the pearly gates, the first thing they're gonna ask is, how much money did you make a year? Yeah. yeah. They're not gonna ask that True. question. No. How good did you do your job? Did, yeah. you, did you, I think it's gonna be like, how were you as a mother or a father yeah. or, or a, um, uh, as a person or a community, things like that. So I kind of believe that the overall picture, those things are higher priority sure. in overall life than career and work. But that's not always true. No. <laughs> Anybody want to add on to that? <laughs> and that was kind of through Zach's little comment. Yeah. There. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Go ahead Helen. <laughs> well, for me, out, out of the three, or out of the five that I, I mentioned, which now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, Whoosh. Whoosh. Uh, you guys love me. Um, <laughs> it would be spiritual for me to maintain my spirituality and gratitude because mm -hmm. I think that's everything. Yeah. It encompasses everything. Uh, family, mm -hmm. and that is ex my blood family and extended family as well. And uh, career, career. Yeah. Fitness is out of the win fitness is out the window. Forget <laughs> it. But uh, spirituality, uh, family, and career. That that's what I would focus on. Come on. So, Come on. yeah, that we, would be for me. I, think, I, have, I have to laugh real quick. <laughs> Cinder she's usually funny. is used to us doing an hour show. Yeah. So after an hour, she's kind of pacing down yeah. here. <laughs> so if you guys see me kind of looking over here, we can my, uh, it's our chocolate lab. Her tail's wiggling. Yeah. And she's like, God, it's been it. an hour. <laughs> It looks like a microphone. It looks like, oh, what's the boom doing down there? That's what it looks like. There she is. So. So what about you guys? What about you, Lisa? For me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, to keep faith. Mm -hmm. um, balance would be my second. Ah, balance. Yeah. Um, I think life is all about balance on every single level, sure. uh, no matter what you do every day. Um, my health. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, okay. Then my children. Yeah. Then my work, whatever that may be, because I do so many different things. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, and then, and you know, not to be put him last. Um, you know, I, you know, I put, I put me first with faith and balance in my health because if I don't have those things, I can't take care of my kids yep, first. Yeah. Exactly. So I, I learned, sense. yeah, I learned, you know, some people would actually have called that selfish, actually told me I've, I'm a little bit selfish when it comes to that. It's not selfishness when you take care of yourself first, because if you don't, and then you don't have your health, yeah, you can't give any more exactly. to anybody else exactly. within reason and be healthy and have balance and have faith yeah. you can't do it. It, it everything will fall apart and i learned for the first 40 years of my life why certain things did not work and i believe wholeheartedly that is why yeah and, and that's it, a work in progress because yeah, yeah. sometimes and I've, I've danny has noticed this about me i will put myself last yeah and you know something else has suffered for it and then in turn whoever i'm putting ahead of me is going to suffer because it's not yeah. balanced correctly exactly and you i mean let's i mean you are taking care of yourself so you're not passing down any bad habits or bad you know what i mean to your kids which yeah. is so smart so really it's yeah. helping them you're raising them better so i think that's a great 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 way to look at it or i'm giving them something to talk about in it, therapy derek it yes. really can go either way <laughs> that's right <laughs> one or the other yeah as long as they live to talk about it yeah. i think i'm golden exactly <laughs> hey so uh yeah. i'm gonna throw one more out there just because i want to keep different subjects coming up but okay. uh, date night um now mm. when you're married or even couples or fiancés even boyfriend girlfriend okay um uh do people, I uh, mean, like Sherry and I, we, we still call it, we'll try to do it, but yeah. we do have what's called date night. Just drop everything and go do something. Yeah. Um, but it's not necessary. But uh, I mean, how healthy do you think having a date night? Why don't night? you think it's necessary? Oh, because we don't call every, I mean, it's just because we didn't do our Friday night date night doesn't mean that Saturday we're not going to go have a blast. Yeah. I mean, we don't define it so 
where it's like a religion, like Fridays we got to do date night. Well, sometimes we just stay home and watch TV or something. Yeah. But the That's next the day we, we might we might do a, a road trip the next day and go for a long ride, yeah. which is even better than a date night Heck to yeah. us. You know, so, so uh, but we'll call oh, it so, date nights. So you would say it's just basically doing something together every weekend, which I think is really important. Yeah, yeah. it's easy to get, you get so caught up in stuff with, kids and mm -hmm. friends and uh, work and um, responsibilities and chores yeah. it's like you just sure. gotta drop everything grab the dog grab the girl yeah. <laughs> it's like let's go for a road trip yeah <laughs> let's just go somewhere yeah <laughs> to me the the perfect you know some people need like the whole big uh, go to a fancy restaurant spend a whole bunch of money on oh, yeah. food and alcohol this that the other thing you give me a chicken leg and the beach yeah oh yeah that's awesome that's it's awesome. on like donkey kong yeah like, it's a good day i'm so simple i don't i don't need anything but some sand don't forget the, the margarita come on no i don't even need it. you know yeah. we were talking about that the other day like you know he's like i i I only drink wine here for gotcha. some reason yeah. i'll buy like a bottle of wine and it's like the small one and uh, while I'm cooking, yeah. I'll have I'll I'll pour like this much. It's like ridiculous. I don't yeah. drink a lot of it, and half the time I have to dump it because it doesn't last because so many days have passed and now it just tastes like vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's it's awful. I'm not a big drinker. I don't. I I got drunk by accident three times in my life. It wasn't fun. So, you know, um. you give me just something simple like that, or we take a ride. That's the perfect date night. Yeah. Wow. Uh. I'm inclined to agree. I, yeah. I, I think I love well. I love any place that I'm not cooking. Yeah. So it could be <laughs> it could be a Nathan's hot dog, no yeah. lie, or uh, a nice restaurant, or just taking a ride to the beach. Yeah. So yeah, because Absolutely. you know how far how far are you from the beach? I'm 11 miles from the Atlantic, as you well know. So how far are you from the beach in Florida? Um, about 30 minutes if, if, if he's driving, maybe 20 if I'm driving. <laughs> oh, ah, okay. Oh, the beach and is like yeah. five what? hours, five, six hours for us. <laughs> it's close. Wow. Okay. We still we'll get over to there. to Long Island or, or Florida and visit. And <laughs> We'd have to go to the, San Diego is where the, we'd go. That's the one thing about Long Island. Like the beach was 10 minutes away. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, here it's it, no matter where I, which beach I go to, it's about 30 minutes away. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. Well, that's, that's, that's why we have nice pools. Yeah. Yeah. We have beaches in our backyard. Basically, yeah. yeah. Or the lake, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, date nights are important um, if they're not, I mean, Rob, you're, I mean, you guys are saying you're having them. I think it's more of an issue if you're not having that, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. whether it's at home. I'm just saying alone time with your significant others is very important where the kids are, you know, off doing something. And you need just some alone time. I'm sure it's different for different stages yeah. of your life, too. Sure. If you get the kids around, you definitely need a date night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where uh, the kids it's are gone. Date and, uh, nights in the car for a few minutes. Kids will be right back. Exactly. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> exactly. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. If it if it's gonna be that kind of date night, exactly. Hey, gotta do three it. Three minutes. Remember, Derek's the three Derek minute said man. Oh, I didn't say that long. Three Jesus, yeah, did I say three minutes? Three minutes. Yeah, just three minutes. Let me knock minutes. that down a minute. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, okay. your homework, Derek, is to work on maybe five minutes. Five okay. minutes for God's okay. sake! Man. Well, work damn on it! That. I knew it. I knew there was. Certain, I knew it. I mean, even at this age, I know better than that. <laughs> Jeez. So funny. <laughs> no, the, well, Derek, what's your perfect date night? I don't think you said, did you? Oh no, man, you that's I no. You thought you were gonna get away with this. I know. One. I was just <laughs> waiting for the next. So I was just listening. <laughs> my perfect date night. Yeah. I'll, if I mean, if we had a beach, obviously I'd love to go there, but. I don't, I've worked in a club bartending forever, so I'm not into the whole going out and clubbing and stuff, but a nice dinner is cool. Um, I know I love to barbecue. That's fun. I love barbecuing yeah. and doing that. Me too. But if on we. On a Traeger? On a well, <laughs> Not a Traeger, I wish, but that takes some technique. There's a lot to that. Um, okay. Yeah, you got to be cooking. That's bait. the sexiest thing. Like, yeah. if you, you know what I mean? You, yeah. you do that, you have your significant other over for dinner yep. and you cook. Yep. I love it. There you go. There you what go. Helen said. 
Game over. I, I like the purr. Yeah. I can't do that. You still can't I can't do, do, that. do other things. I cannot do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what is fun though. Going for sushi. Ordering the gal a yes. couple sake bombers. Oh. And going to having yeah. some fun. Goodness. See sake. now, okay. <laughs> That's called the take... Zach special. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. <laughs> so what about um I, I think this is sexy. I I'm a little out there I, I do some crazy things sometimes sure, sure we yeah. were um it, back in january we were out to dinner it was a sushi place it was hibachi actually and um we were with uh actually his which i think is fantastic um and i wish more people were able to do this um with his son his for his son's birthday and we were with his um son's mom danny's ex-wife and her her parents and we were at hibachi and stuff and his son dared me to get up and go to the next table and start doing hibachi stuff <laughs> with everybody <laughs> and you can't dare me and me not do it right so i did and danny loves that kind of stuff he finds that you know the it's, spontaneous yep. craziness just sexy yep what would hilarious. you do let's say derek you're you're not dating anybody particularly yeah. you're 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 with your loved one and she just gets up and she's does something crazy like that do you find that to be sexy uh, or are you like oh my god i'm embarrassed right now totally sexy i mean there's too much sometimes but that's awesome that is yeah. i'm the crazy man usually so that is to me is very 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 sexy it's awesome what about you helen would you do it yep Yep. Good girl. Got to do it. Absolutely. What a, I, I don't absolutely. think Sherry and I would. Yeah. <laughs> I think it would be like, well, that's not very um, appropriate. Oh, yeah? Really? I know you. I, I know. Sherry I know. and I would be kind of like, that you'd that's be annoyed. not appropriate. You'd be annoyed, we should yeah. be interfering with Other something like that. Yeah. But I can see the humor in it. Yeah. I mean, it's just not our style. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what if, what if we were all together, a group of us, we come out to Arizona, we're all hanging out. Uh-huh. And... I get up and I do something like that. Would she be upset with me? She'd be like, well, "This girl's oh, crazy." Oh no! Oh no! She'd probably think you're crazy, but she's like, "I couldn't do that." Yeah, <laughs> but it'd still be fun. We, yeah. we still enjoy it and the whole thing. It's just we just yeah. it just doesn't it just doesn't suit us. We just yeah. don't do that. But we do crazy things. I mean, yeah. But uh, I know younger people are a little braver than Sherry and I. Yeah. But that's interesting, huh? What's so, the craziest you know, thing you've ever done, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Crazy. With Sherry? Yeah. Uh, in general. Yeah. With Sherry, yeah. Go ahead. Sp oh. Spontaneous. Spontaneous. That, she was like, what the hell did he just... <laughs> I can't, because if my wife watches this, yeah. I'm going to be in so much trouble. <laughs> well, you might want to say no, something when she was there. No, I don't want to be in trouble. No, no, no. No. No trouble. No, I don't want you to get in trouble. No. Absolutely yeah. not. I, it's just... Uh, I mean, younger, we did a lot of crazy us. things. I mean, stuff. But I mean, like, when you're young, you're yeah. like, where can you do things? Yeah. So yeah. that 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 was in existence. Yeah. Then that, and then, it. I can tell you, it's still kind of in existence. <laughs> and that's all I'll say. <laughs> what about skinny dipping? I know you guys were at Washington. Water. What? Pardon? That's what I'm not commenting. Yeah. On. <laughs> that's it. I'm just guessing. Let's say, let's say I'm really glad we have big brick walls around our yeah. houses. That's all I can tell you. So I, I'll leave it there. Whoa, yep. now this That's is getting good. Continue. That's all. I mean, because I mean, otherwise you know, it looks like two beached whales. Get to the nitty gritty. So no, I mean that's that's all I'm going to say about. It, but I'm saying that it's not over just because we're 57. Yeah, no, gotta, gotta no. keep it. So well, it's kind of funny, but it's definitely much yeah private. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not getting older. I'm getting bolder. There I can, you go. I can tell you a, a funny story. Mom earmuffs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Is your mom still listening? <laughs> uh, probably. Um, so I had jet skis for a while, and uh, we went on the lake and uh, Sora Lake. And there's coves. Well, I know a lot of these coves, so I took my girlfriend at the time back on the into the cove, and we stayed on top of the jet ski and uh, had fun. And uh, we uh, actually kind of got caught because <laughs> <laughs> one of the park rangers had binoculars, <laughs> but he didn't didn't interrupt us. He just watched. Well, the he whole probably time. made his day. Uh, yeah, he's, he's still watching that today. He's video he videoed it. She was very attractive. I'm not gonna lie. She well, was. Wait. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. What about the waves? No, didn't we were balanced? Oh, that probably helped. I can tell you. I mean, I, don't you have to get that syncopation going? Oh, we did. We <laughs> did. We fell. We fell in the first time, and then the second time, I made sure she was positioned correctly, and it worked out like a charm. <laughs> and she was and a. Here, I thought you guys were so shy. No, I'm shy. I'm. Yeah. I'm I, the could top, I could probably top that. Yeah, I got some. Yeah, go for it. Oh yeah, we got to get one. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. New Jersey Turnpike going seventy miles an hour. Oh, doing what? Was just, one, doing. just doing. Just doing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Helen? <laughs> oh, I know, but I'm not saying. <laughs> Me neither. I would do you, Helen. Seventy miles an hour. <laughs> lucky that uh, lucky didn't crash. That's I know. Pretty dangerous. <laughs> Jet skis. That's no very talented. Jet skis. Took a lot I of expertise. I got so, some really bad ones. So I, I want to do another shift here, <laughs> not to change the subject, but <laughs> yeah. I, I think I'd like to hear Poor about. I'd love to hear this, but you know, we're talking about love and relationships, marriage, and and, and fiancés and girlfriends and all that stuff. And uh, uh, I think what I want to do is is uh, inspirational. Uh, relationships for example someone who maybe been dating or maybe their fiancés and one gets in a car accident and gets crippled oh. or uh, or one comes up with cancer and you've seen some of these beautiful relationships of of that partner still staying and working and, and, and supporting that person even though that they're down and out you might say yeah and it, and it could even be uh, uh, addictions and stuff like yeah. that that is what I call very inspirational relationships yeah. and and it really calls out a person of what kind of person and partner you have big time and uh, so I know it's really I mean we went from funny to kind of sit, but yeah. some of these relationships are just amazing yeah of uh, someone that maybe they got in a car accident and they're crippled and can't walk anymore and they're going through therapies and stuff and their fiance, I mean, not even married yet, yeah. are by their right. side helping them or coming back from Iraq or yeah. coming from military. And really shows their character. Oh, yeah. I mean, what a true, true measurement of love yeah. and relationships. Um, That's would you add, get, I mean, there's not much to add to that other than the fact that what an example of true love and relationship of as like it's so beyond physical anymore it's definitely emotional yeah um, right and uh so i don't know what well, you want to add to that i mean that's um, just i've seen the opposite <laughs> and uh and there's a dark side to that I've seen too the dark side yep but well um okay between you and me and the four walls uh <laughs> And all of those and the, and the internet and the whole wide world. Yeah, go ahead. No, I just feel <laughs> no one's so listening. <laughs> whatever. Uh, now, uh, Tom was diagnosed with prostate cancer, and um, I went through all of his treatments with him together, and I helped him with his, you know, with the meds and going to the doctors and everything else. And uh, he also had to have an ear operation. And I'll tell you a real quick, not funny, funny story. Um, but he had to have an ear operation, something, and we went to the ear, nose, and throat place in New York City, and we took the train in because, uh, for some reason, I was happy to drive in, but he didn't want to drive in because he figured he didn't want to get caught in traffic. Mm -hmm. So he goes through the operation, and I'm taking him on the train, and he's got this big thing on his ear. <laughs> and we're sitting on the train, and I look over, and there's a bunch of blood Oof. coming out of his ear. Oh, no. Now... I did not panic, and I said, okay, I said, your ear's bleeding a little bit, you know, maybe, you, you know, just let's get home, and, you know, we'll call the doctor, and it's bleeding, and it's bleeding, and it's bleeding, and I'm trying, I'm not a good blood person, when there's a, a crisis, I'm very good in that, but if I start to see blood, I get a little panicked, Yeah. and so yeah. I'm sitting there going, okay, okay, you know, get him home, and everything, and it wouldn't stop bleeding, I was so scared, but I did not because you know i'm his significant other mm -hmm. i wasn't gonna let him seeing that inside i was going yeah, <laughs> yeah going, his brain's yeah. bleeding <laughs> like, oh. I, I was just and, and i'm saying okay we're just gonna go home Stay and calm. you know when he gets home and looks in the mirror and he's like whoa i said okay okay we'll call the doctor and 
they said that's normal and I said normal that it looks gushing and everything yeah. but he was fine but my point being is you know when you find somebody you love it does show the measure of a person that mm -hmm. I'm sticking around this is what we're gonna do we're in this together we're going you know we're gonna you know for better for worse you know living together or married you know yeah. it does show the level of commitment that you have yeah. and that, that that's really really important so none of you get a cut a bad cut around me because it's like stop it now stop <laughs> stop 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 yeah, Danny's whole uh mom's side of the family have heart issues and stuff and mm -hmm. nobody's lived past 69. Yeah. Um, his mom passed away at 69 a couple of years back and uh, he Danny had a heart ablation uh, uh, last year. What is and, a heart ablation? I don't know uh, what that is. He has AFib, AFib. Ablation mm -hmm. with his heart okay. and um, mm -hmm. he had an ablation done uh, the, all the technical parts to to that um, it's, just, it's it's all cardiac yeah when it when it has to do with your heart and mm -hmm. he did say to me a long time ago he goes listen he goes you know no, nobody's in my nobody in my mom's side of the family has lived past 69 yeah he's like you might want to get out now <laughs> <laughs> I can't give you the, the long live to 90 years old yeah, yeah which he doesn't know anything can happen yeah but um you know I, I went through some things with him when he was at AFib and stuff like that. It takes a lot out of him and yeah. surgery and stuff. You know, I couldn't imagine not being. Yeah. You know, you That's hear of stories. Key. Yeah, you hear of stories where people can't. You know, the the, the partner, the spouse, they can't handle it. They yeah. don't want to, and, and they and they end up leaving. It's and heartbreaking. They, and they fail. And, and I think but, that's a a thing I I like to kind of point out is this love and relationship conversation we're having like this and, and I'm not saying this is a dark side this is the true side of yeah. relationships is it's not always the flowers it's not always the nice dinner kids or or little things like that I mean something will come into that relationship yeah and uh, you need to I mean, know what kind of commitment you really are making. Some people, yeah. I don't think, you know, especially young couples, it's all about you know the physical and all that stuff. But as time goes on, it, and, it, and that's not necessarily true for young people. It may be somebody that's twenty is going through cancer uh, sure. support and stuff. But the, uh, it's really easy to get this picture in your head what love and relationships is all about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you need to realize that love and relationship goes so f much farther into the emotional and support and we're all human and we all have bodies that can be defective a car crash could happen the military could happen uh, so many things could be factors and you need to ask yourself that next question for you know when you're getting just the commitment of the contract you're making uh, to, to get married are you um, uh, and there's some and, and the other question may be is why some people may not want to get married because of that contract yeah mm. they, they want to bail when they know that this not this perfect human being anymore yeah. uh, maybe you lost a leg or lost a finger or, yeah. or uh, had a heart attack and Anything, you, know, yeah. you know is like do people know in these love and relationships uh, the full um, commitment that these things happen and they are not just once in a while and just some people everybody has something and so uh, are you willing to make that commitment and and, and that's you get my age is yeah. like we've seen shit yeah <laughs> that's the question though like, can you make it through the that stuff yeah and are you willing to exactly and uh, well, so. don't don't you find Rob that um, a lot of times you've been married a really long time I, w I was married for eight years and uh, you, you know, um, do I think that was long enough? No. But the thing is, is people, when the relationship starts to become work, um, and work meaning, okay, somebody's got you know um, a, a crisis in the way of an, a very serious illness, mm -hmm. or you know, somebody maybe has a mental breakdown or something like that. This is when it becomes work. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of people, I don't think, are realistic that, well, I didn't sign up for this, yeah. and now I'm out of here. I didn't do this. And, yeah. You know, I didn't sign up for so-and-so, and I'm out of here. And I think a lot of people are not realistic that they're searching for the perfect relationship, the perfect mate, the, the perfect 
physical body, the perfect mental body, you, you know, yeah. the perfect everything. Yeah. And I think majority of people um, are unrealistic. Yeah. And nobody's perfect. There is no one size fits all type oh, of thing. Yeah. Much. What yeah. do you yeah. think of that? And, and you brought, kind of brought that up in some earlier shows. Is you, uh, we were using that word "perfect," yeah. and uh, and it's. I think it's a good idea to get rid of that word because um, we are, you know, <laughs> we're not perfect. Well, you <laughs> could say you could say "perfectly you." Yeah, yeah. It's a good way to put it. it. Or imperfectly perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it just. Um, uh, I I think a lot of people. Uh, cut off relationships way too early because things are not working out their way or somebody doesn't know what the other person is thinking or what the other person needs because I am also a big believer that men and women are not mind readers and when one is not getting their needs met and they don't tell the other that's when trouble happens yeah. that's yeah. that's when uh, communication seriously breaks down yeah. and then other people are they're ready to walk yeah. because mm -hmm. they don't know uh, what's wrong or what's going on? So mm -hmm. I, I think that's really important too. That communication is a key. So a key to I, a successful I, I, relationship. I have another question that friendship. just kind of came up on on this. Is I, I'm going to throw this one at uh, Derek. Oh great! <laughs> um, what? No. So you're 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 out there on the search. Sure. And you the prowl. Crowd, and you and you meet a, a great gal. Sure. And I'm going to throw two things at you. Oh, no. One is uh, uh, has a different uh, culture mm -hmm. and a kid. Okay. How do you handle that? One is uh, one is culture, family comes from a whole different culture and sure. stuff, and you guys are just falling in love. Yeah, and maybe uh, and I'll I'm just or it's just one or the other. Okay, or and then you find out this person's got maybe a, a three or five year old or something like that, and uh, is that something that? Uh, and it, it's going to be different for everybody, so it's not really fair for me to ask you, is, is no. that acceptable? I mean, yeah, can no, you handle that? Oh, totally. I'm an equal opportunity employer over here. <laughs> I, I pass no judgment. So the, I've done the kid thing. didn't affect me at all. Do um, you think you could fall in love with another I, person's I, child? I have before. Um, doesn't really affect me. I mean, culture either. I mean, yeah. there are some pretty remarkable people. You got to remember, oh, this is yeah. just a, this is just our skin. It's like, mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. it doesn't. Even, I love culture. By doesn't the way. affect I think me. It's great. Like down here, you know, the Latinos are gorgeous <laughs> in Arizona, <laughs> and they got a great culture. Yeah, too. and their oh culture's God. very family oriented. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. If this person is special and we have that freaking connection. I don't give a shit what's going on. You know, I mean, she could have a couple kids. I just. I have to make sure that connection's there before anything happens. Right. So I pass no judgment, you know. Um, I maybe when I was younger, definitely judgmental would would be like, oh, better not go in that direction, you know. Mm -hmm. Not because of the skin color, but you know, maybe kids or something. But mm -hmm. really, never really doesn't bother me. It's mm -hmm. all about who that person is. Definitely. And there's no right or wrong answer to that, really. No, no but not everybody's yeah. up for that either. No, I got friends that definitely hold culture as their number one thing, where they're that's they stick to what they like. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I got other friends that will not date, will not have relation. They'll date them, but they'll not have relationships with women that um, have kids because they don't want to take on that load. Um, yeah. And uh, and but, nor, well, nor do you want them to if they're not willing to do it. Exactly. Why would I you mean, want that's somebody not like a good that scenario? I mean. No, but. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no judgment okay. here. I've been with uh, all kinds of people, <laughs> women. Sorry, <laughs> Helen. Well, um, at at this age in my fifties, I would not want to date someone who had um, toddlers or uh, kids in elementary school. Probably in, I would say, uh, junior high or high school. But I, I don't think I would be up for that at this point in my life. And yeah. that's being very yeah. honest. I, I yeah. hope that's not mean spirited or anything else. But yeah. How I you just feel? think, um, yeah. I mean, my my nieces and nephews have the little babies, and they're adorable, and <laughs> I adore them. But then I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah, take them back. <laughs> back to mommy now, and, yep. and 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 that's fine. I have a great time <clears throat> with them, and uh, I play with them, and we have a good time together. But uh, to have that around 24/7, I, I don't think I I. I don't think I would want to do that at this point in my life. Yeah, yeah I watch yeah. actually both of my kids 
um, married to people that had children already. Yeah. So it was kind of interesting because, you, you know, as you're growing up and your kids grow up, you think of this traditional family. Yeah. But with both of my kids, mm -hmm. once married, I was an instant grandpa. Yeah. Boom. Mm -hmm. Totally did not expect that. Yeah. And, and then uh, the admiration I've had for both of my children, my, I have a son and a daughter, yeah. both took on children that were from a marriage and, uh, and embraced it wonderfully. Yeah. And then incorporated us, the grandparents, wonderfully. Yeah. And uh, it's not an easy road to hoe. My my yeah. daughter's got the toughest. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. son was lucky. It was kind of a newborn kind of thing. Yeah. And, and that child just didn't know anybody else. That makes it easier. Yeah. But and my daughter came into a marriage where the kids were older. Yeah. And still deals with the uh, the stepmother thing. And yeah. So she's that uh, in the middle kind of thing. And. Yeah. What a wonderful woman I've discovered my daughter has become yeah. to handle these children that really needed her support. Yeah. And, and uh, at the mm -hmm. same time, uh, and then there's the third That's child, nice. which is actually naturally uh, gotcha. hers. So we have a natural grandson, but I've got three actual yeah. instant grand yeah. parent kids and, and you know every one of them's boys by the way oh that's tough. <laughs> nothing but boys in our family yeah that's tough. <laughs> no little granddaughters out there and nor, nor do i want to in, in tell my kids that they have to have any more because they get their hands right. full yeah with yeah. all these but uh, what, boys a, a lot. what what a test of relationships there that definitely is that was amazing i i commend both of my uh, my kids it's um, not easy how well they uh, they brought on these new families and yeah um, and both have had their natural kind of evolution of, of grandkids too yeah so it's like uh, but you can hardly tell the difference I mean that's they're cool. just all all one yeah. and it's really good yeah so, well that's a test of relationship that I'm is, you. there could be some baby <laughs> yeah. mama drama there man oh, definitely yeah. yep and, and you know uh, yeah mm -hmm. that was usually it's the opposite actually Rob I mean usually it comes with baggage so that's good that she was able to handle it. Oh, there's baggage. Oh, Nothing I know. Like that, but but uh, they usually give up and walk away. So she it, stayed there, and that's good. No, I mean, it was the best thing ever it. happened yeah. to those kids, um, especially the ones that we they needed inherited it. Yeah. and needed her. Yeah. And wow, uh, what a strong woman she become. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I could have done it. Yeah. So. Brian Lee posted something right now. Parental alienation is the worst where, you know, the parents just, you know, the only yeah. paying attention to their kid you know the the blood yeah. relate you know yeah yeah their actual blood related that's a good, child that's so a good that happens a lot yeah like you the kid that you have no you know that's the the yeah. new person to the family gets kind of cast aside that's kind of tough too that happens a lot yeah. yeah i can assure you on uh um both of the families of my kids have uh, not done that yeah so it's been great that's very common now yeah. I want to hear. I want to hear. Someone's got to have some something spicy before we end here, because I'm getting spicy. a little emotional over here. Oh yeah, what I know. Kind I, of I keep bringing up. I would. I was sugar and up spice. A, I got something, really and this nice. is okay. Go for we it. can end it on this. I don't know, but relationships and uh, Lisa brought it up, and this words hurt the worst. What happens if one of your part, the person you're with, is verbally abusive, like mm. just. I'm talking cussing at you daily, constantly, just trying to bring you down. But throat punch them. Throat punch them. I mean, baseball bat. Exactly. Like sometimes that hurts worse than the physical, and I think that yeah. is more common yes. in relationships now. But a lot of people push through. But I think yeah. to me that's something. I know because that... my heart's broken because I'm you know being called Sherry's bitch is just yeah. breaking my heart. Well, you're, you're, you admit it at least. That's the start. <laughs> No, that's that's. It's a form of abuse. It when, is. Uh, that's when somebody's shit verbally, lingers. I, we never I've, do that in our family. That I, shit I know about that, yep. and yep. Um, you know, it's it. Sometimes the emotional and the verbal is a little bit, you know, worse than the physical. The yep. physical part will eventually fade. Yep. Whereas the emotional and verbal wounds yep. don't always fade as quickly. And they get repetitively brought up, it seems like. Yeah. It, there's it's, it's crazy. But that is yeah. a very big well, thing. Well, it shows a lack of respect for another yep. human being. 
Yeah. And uh, that goes on all levels, friendship levels, yeah. work levels, uh, love levels, and everything else. Yeah. And I think when people start to stoop to that level, they they do that because they've got nowhere else to go. They can't defend themselves. I think you're right. And therefore, they'll just go for the jugular. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it just shows what they're made of, really. Yeah. yeah. I, but, see, uh, I see it a lot. I, I won't tolerate that. I, I won't tolerate that. Uh, that no. uh, you Long Island girls don't mess around. I'm, I'm, I trust me. Yeah, no. these, these two <laughs> scare me. They no, get the no, bat no, out. No, you know, no, but, come on, Derek. No, I think no, no but in it's all true. seriousness, you know, uh, there's no reason to tolerate that kind of abuse from anybody. No, the, you know, people when people hurl insults at you, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, there's no need to 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 accept that kind of uh, that kind of nonsense. No, of course yeah. not. And I think uh, one more thing I want to do is well, we we actually only have about four minutes left. Yeah, yeah. I want to end this with uh, a positive note, cool. is, and we've brought this up before is the power of laughter in any relationship yeah and uh, uh, uh yeah it's an amazing uh um i'm still showing the transmission so we're humor getting... is yeah. the most attractive thing ever Sexy. it is up there so oh yeah i mean because you know we've talked in the show about you know like lisa would go up and do the sushi thing yeah, and, that and is... all that but I cannot think of a day that my wife doesn't come home and we can't find something humorous that was like, um, you know, it was like, how did your day go? And I go, well, I'll send her fluffed between the tables and she's as busted I got. <laughs> or, um, uh, you know, we always got something funny or oh, oh that. And I don't think there isn't a day that doesn't go by that we don't find some day, something to laugh about. You have either to. from her day or my day. Yeah. Um, That's the joy. You know what, Rob? Um, Every single day when Tom gets home, without fail, I always ask, how was your day? Yeah. Without fail. Yeah. Um, and I have always made it a point to do that. How was your day? Yeah. And, uh, you know, let him talk out if the day was good, it was bad, or anything like that. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, he'll ask me how my day was. But it's, I think that's very important to show interest in your uh, partner's, um, in your, in your partner's life. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Instead of being so engulfed in your own and yeah. your issues and your challenges or whatever, I think it's really important. That's how you make yeah. a relationship. I, I grow. think it's important to not always make everything so important, uh, critical. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, because you can come home and Sherry could go, you know, yeah, I did this and this, and I and she does a little HR stuff and tells me that story and stuff, and I may go, yeah, I had to, you know, get the radio station going, and we had the stream go down, and and then just have this total so seriousness. Yeah. But I, I, I almost like both of her and I need to shake it yeah. and, and 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 say, all right. Uh, however, you know, uh, your cat almost caught a bunny. It was the funniest thing yeah. I've ever seen. And, <laughs> and, and and change it to reality yeah. and, and bring it into uh, not, I mean, because you can get in that kind of relationship where everything is always so serious. Yep. yep. And if you can't have a chuckle or a laugh or something, well, at least every day. That's not fun. Um, it's, you just, things are just getting too patterned, too much yeah. seriousness, too much, uh, that's your job. That's my job. This I uh, got these things chores done and stuff yeah. like that. What about just the funniest little things that happen? Or you know, and of course you need that time to air your laundry Heck a little yeah. bit. But at the same time, I really think laughter at at the end of the day is pretty important. Absolutely, I, I, I love, agree. Yes, I love to send a text message or receive one, whether it's saying "Have a great day" or to crack a funny joke. <laughs> I think that always makes people's day so much better and uh yeah. so i think that so i'll yeah. con I do a confession to you guys on skype uh -oh. you guys see my little cow right you've seen that cow yeah. which is my Moo cow yes so um there's a joke behind that actually so <laughs> sherry and i have this little code during the day and i'll just i'm her and i'll just say moo uh, uh, i like it nothing else <laughs> It could be any time of the day. Yeah. yeah. And her response, That's so cute. her response is always meow. <laughs> We've been doing this for years. That's funny. Now the, the cow, it. now the cow came from, uh, when we lived in Central Oregon, we decided with the kids and all this, we all come up with our own Indian names or Native American names. Okay. Say, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the kids all came up with like Super Scorpion or whatever. Something you crazy. Yeah, yeah. Mine was we were uh, going for a ride and we we're sitting outside looking at something really pretty over in John Day. 
and we're looking across the field and there was a bunch of cows and one was running across the the field so they came up with my name the family did yeah. my indian name is running cow That's awesome. <laughs> And it Aww. stuck with the family forever. And so uh, we passed it on to the grandkids. The grandkids have to have their own yeah. Native American name we've come up with. So the name Running Cow and the cow thing has been something special and funny. That is funny. All the time. So when things get too serious or too quiet, is I'll just, I'm sure you can just go moo. <laughs> or sometimes I'll go moo moo. Yeah. And, and sometimes I'll get a meow well, meow back. Yeah. And it's so stupid. Yeah. But it makes us smile. And I guarantee she's laughing well, when you oh, do yeah. it. You, you do know, Rob, that Lisa and I just wrote that down. <laughs> right? Well, now you know what the cow's for. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. But that's so, a great, great example, man. Yeah, that's so, funny. So uh, some people have asked me, and I don't tell why. You should, you should go, why do you have a cow for an icon? Well, yeah, it's like, yeah. well, if you knew what the cow meant, <laughs> it's for running cow. Rob, you should send a meow one time and see what happens. Oh, we can't. It's a rule. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just so, checking. And just when checking. we travel, by the way, we have... Um, uh, 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 special zones <laughs> no that, that we're la allowed to say her name or that I can't say meow to her. Gotcha. I'll break the rules. Yeah, yeah. But we have these negative, uh, these special areas. Yeah. That if there's like a certain bridge we cover, yeah. Some, that we can actually take reverse the roles. That's cool. And That's so we like funny. sing little songs like moo 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 <laughs> yeah, moo moo. Yeah. Aww. It's really That's stupid. So sweet. Totally stupid. That's but, funny. Yeah, it's funny though. Exactly. Yeah. So. Anyway, guys, we're kind of at the end of the show here, and I wanted to kind of end it with something uh, that's really positive for relationships and yeah, love. Great job. And once again, uh, I, I'm not sure. That could, I got a feeling there's a lot more to go on to the subject. We still just scratched the surface. So something tells me there's a part four and fives coming up in the future. Don't know exactly. We have to kind of get together and talk. Yeah. And uh, uh, Lisa's better half is here. <laughs> oh, they, they saw you. <laughs> Hi there. What's <laughs> up? Hey. <laughs> nice Hi, to Danny. meet you. So uh, uh, we do have to wrap up the show, and I'm gonna. Uh, all we'll be doing is switching the screen to music. But yeah. I want to thank uh, Lisa and, uh, and Helen. Absolutely, for a great show great. and some wonderful stuff. And uh, uh, for those you. who find this on um, on YouTube and those things, it will be split into two shows. Okay. Um, and uh, for like Lisa and especially Lisa and Derek, you guys, you know, you, you got your careers too and stuff like that. Of working so hard to do these shows, I want to give you a commend you guys Thank for you. making time in your schedule to do these this shows. This is fun, it's hard. <laughs> we and, enjoy it. I'm sure. Um, I myself have a little more flexibility. I think Heather has a little more flexibility with her schedule. So I know Who's how hard Heather? it is for you. Oh. Oh, Heather, I did it again, didn't I? Yeah, Helen. That's right. So sorry, Helen. Um, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I keep seeing Heather, Heather on there, and yeah, I keep yeah. getting the names mixed. That's all right. Anyway, but so um, for the young adults we have here, <laughs> <laughs> I commend you for working so hard to get scheduled for these shows and still do what you're doing. You're both in insurance, and yeah. I know it's tough. So uh, I thank, thank you. you so much. And uh, um Helen, <laughs> she's my bud. Yeah, yeah. You know, so uh, it's been so much fun. But we'll see how um, how if part four and five yeah. show up after this. We'll have to talk after this is over. Yeah. But we do have to wrap it up. So I want to say goodbye to everybody. Thank you for everybody who watched and commented today. You guys are awesome. We'll see you next time. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Talk to you later. Thanks, Bye. everybody. Hey, thank you so much for listening to part two of Love and Relationships. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. Till next time, bye now.